Hello, this training video will lead us through the steps required to fit an implant bridge. So today we are trying in and fitting the definitive screw retained ceramic bridge supported on uh, two central implants here with a distal pontic replacing the upper right lateral incisor. So the sulcus formers are initially removed. Okay, close together. So the first thing um, that I do before we try the, the bridge work in is to check the existing tooth contacts. And I like to do this with some thin foil like the shim stop. Open for me, bite together and open and bite together. Open and bite together and open and bite together. Now these tooth contacts, open for me, uh, were given to the laboratory and we don't want to be interfering with these contacts with our newly designed bridge work. So unless you know what the contacts are before you start, you won't know whether you've interfered with them. So it's important to be aware of those. So the implant bridge is gently pushed onto the implants. You can see there's a little bit of blanching of the tissues, um, hopefully not too much because we've relayed the information from the sulcus formers which give the technician um, all the information uh, that he needs to develop a really good emergence profile of the teeth. There is usually a little bit of uh, pinching of the, of the gum, but not normally sufficient to, to merit local anaesthetic. However, on occasions it is necessary if it clearly is uncomfortable. So I think you just need to warn patients that there will be a feeling of tightness and some pinching potentially uh, and just to stop and wait for things to settle if that is the case. How are we doing down there? Is that not too bad? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, I feel a bit long, the teeth do. Yeah, oh. they haven't quite gotten down yet. But, <laughs> okay. but um, just now, as we're tightening the screws here, we're being aware of the tissue. Um, but also the contacts with the teeth either side. You have the floss there. Because if the contacts are heavy, that will prevent the implant bridge from fully seating. There we go, that looks fine. That's fine as well, thank you. So that means that we can, again, Gently turn the screws. How are we doing with the gum there? Is that starting to pinch? Is that uncomfortable? No, or is it that just feels a bit tight, but I think it's something that will probably go just a little now. I think you've hit the nail on the head yes. there. It's, it's something that we do find um, will settle, and it settles really quite quickly. Sometimes um, we do need to adjust either the, the gum a little bit or uh, the teeth, the, the, the bridge, um, but I think in this case we should be all right. You see there is a little bit of um, blanching but that will settle. Let's just check the contact points once more. Excellent, thank you. So the contact points are fine, then certainly not holding the bridge from fully seating. The soft tissues are responding well. So I think we're able to fully tighten the screws. Now, this screwdriver has a torque um, control aspect to it. This is 15 Newton centimeters. 
So when this is tightened to 50 newton centimeters, which is what the screw should be tightened to, uh, you're, you're unable to tighten it further because there is a cutout mechanism within it. And that's what that click is. Okay. There we go. Right, so we're fully seated. Um, contacts with the adjacent teeth are, are excellent. Let's check the occlusal contacts now. Um, if we have the articulating paper, thank you. Okay, and close together. And open. 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 And close it. And open. Yes, we're a little bit proud on this front tooth here, close together. As you can see, we've got a bit of a cross bite here, um, which has made things a little bit tricky. Um, but I think if we adjust where we've got a premature contact here to ensure that we establish, re-establish our tooth contacts, which we had prior to the bridge going in on these teeth here. So. Right, let's just polish up those adjustments to the ceramic and get these things looking uh, nice and smooth. And we'll take an x-ray as well just to confirm that all is well underneath the gums. to make sure that um, we're able to clean um, or allow our patients to clean between and around these replacement teeth. So I'm just going to try um, a small red teepee brush to ensure that uh, this is possible. Just a bit tight there by the looks of it. How does it feel? Is that sore when we're doing that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What I'm going to do is to remove the bridge and just ease up the um, space here for the brush to pass to help clean. Because if it's not comfortable to clean, then it won't be done. So let's just 
just attend to that. give these a bit of a wriggle to get them off. That's it, all done. Okay, so um, you need to open up the embroidery space between these two implants to allow safe and easy passage of the teepee brushes. We just want sufficient space to allow the TP brush to pass without becoming too much of a struggle. So I'll just open this up a little bit more and have that polished up. Okay, so let's try this bridge in once more. Again, just taking care with the, the gums which may have collapsed in. You okay down there with the gums? Yeah, yeah. okay. So we'll try our TP brush once more. Mm. There we go. Better? Oh, okay. good. There you go. I think we'll um, certainly stick with the orange. Oh. We'll send you off with a bag of orange ones. Okay. I don't want to make it any larger than that. Um, the gaps either side would take a larger brush, most definitely, but I think, um, oh, it might even take a red there now. How's that feel? Oh. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Okay, good. And I'm now going to take a check x-ray to be sure that the, um, the bridge work is seating nicely onto the implants themselves. So we'll get that confirmed with this. Gently close together, please. We will need to take an x-ray please. So now that we've checked the bridge fit with uh, the x-ray um, just taken and all looks well on that. I'm going to fill the screw access holes initially with cotton wool pledget to cover the screw hole, uh, the head of the screw, followed by um, some temporary filling material so that um, at our one month review, this is easily removed and we can check the screws to ensure all is well. Okay. 
And at the month review appointment, this temporary material is easily removed and once the screw's been checked, it can then be changed for a more robust composite material. And one final check to be sure that it's possible to clean around the new teeth. And can we have some super floss, please? So super floss underneath the Pontic as well, which fits very nicely. And the TPs between uh, the implants. And um, that is it for, for the fit appointment. We'll review the situation in one month to, to ensure that all is well. We've, now we've attached the, the teeth, would you like to have a look at them? Oh yes, please. Yes. Oh, that's lovely, lovely colour. Nice shape. Yeah, I think he's done a good job with the colour, hasn't yes, he? Yes, certainly, yes. Now, the one area that we will uh, look at again in a month's time is these, these lower teeth. I know we've spoken about possibly reducing them in height. Yes. Um, that will be easily done, um, and we can have a think about that, yes. and we can uh, attend to that next time if that's what you'd yes. like us to do. Yes, I think it'd be nice to sort of leave it for a bit and then yeah. see how I feel at the end of it. Yes, lovely. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. I hope this training video has been clear, but if you have any questions, please contact us at the Implant Centre.